Year two, we are still talking about Henry Matisse this week. And this week we're going to have a look at something else that Henry Matisse did. So he did lots and lots of paintings and portraits in that style fauvism, where he used lots and lots of bright colours to show emotion. But Henry Matisse was also a collage artist. So he used lots of paper to create artworks as well. When he did these, he used lots and lots of bright colours and he used all these unusual shapes that he made. All of the shapes just about were organic shapes. He uses a few geometric shapes in there as well. But if you remember back to year one, we talked a lot about organic and geometric shapes. So does anyone remember what an organic shape was? An organic shape is one of those weird, wacky, wavy, wobbly lined ones. It doesn't have a name, but as always, it must be closed, otherwise it's not a shape. And then a geometric shape is just our normal ones. So the ones that have got a name, they've usually got more straight lines, but again, they're always closed. So today, we're going to use some organic and geometric shapes to create our own collages. But first, we're gonna have a little look at some Henry Matisse collages. We're not gonna to talk too much about these today, I'm just gonna show them to you. So I've got a couple of examples and I'm gonna pop them up around here, and then I'm also gonna upload them on Google Drive so you can have another little look at them later. So we can see from these that Henry Matisse uses lots of bright colours. And one of the things that I think is really interesting about these collages is that they don't actually have a subject matter. They're random. They're what we call abstract. So they don't actually have a subject matter. They're just lots of shapes and patterns. And they're not trying to be a person or a house or a picture of anything. So I always think that that makes them really, really interesting. When we do our own collage today though, our subject matter is gonna be something that you should be super familiar with. Our subject matter today is gonna to be our name. So you are gonna need colored paper if you've got it at home, scissors, glue, maybe a gray lead, and if you don't have colored paper, you're also gonna need either textures or, um, or pencils, up to you. And I'm gonna show you how we can make some colored paper. Uh, go grab all your things if you need to, or come back, you do you, whatever works best for you. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make my name using organic and geometric shapes and just paper, no drawing. All right, let's go. If you don't have coloured paper at home, don't stress. You can always do what we did last term um, and just grab a white piece of paper and either your coloured pencils or your textures and colour in a page like I have here. I've decided to go a bit crazy with this and I've made one that was warm and one that was cool colours. Um, and I've blended all these colours together. I've used lots of different shades of green and blue and purple. And I've sort of made some squiggly textured marks like Matisse. Um, I haven't just colored one block, but you can do it however you like. So you can decide how you're gonna make your own colored paper. If you don't have colored paper, you can also try and use some things like newspaper or even um, old boxes from your recycling or old magazines. So there's some things that you can use to make collage as well. So when we start with a collage, we would normally have a piece of paper that we would use as our base. So I'm going to use a white piece of paper as my base. And all I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to grab my colored pieces of paper I've got some of my homemade ones and I've got some scrap paper from my scrap paper box and I'm going to use these pieces of paper to make a whole bunch of organic and geometric shapes. All right, I'm going to start cutting and then I'll be back. made myself a whole bunch of random organic and geometric shapes 
And what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and arrange these shapes so that I can make my name. Now, this is probably not going to be perfect, beautiful, really neatly written name. It might be a little bit strange and we might have to use our imagination a little bit, but I think it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to arrange them on the piece of paper without gluing them down first. And then once I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to glue it down. I might also have to trim and change some of them as I go just to make it work, but that's okay. All right, let's see how we go. Okay, I told you it was probably going to be a little bit strange, but I've got my letters using all my shapes. So I've got my E, my M, my I, L, and Y. And I'm actually really happy with how this looks. I think it looks really cool. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna stick them all down. Okay, so my name is all glued down. It's not going to fall off anymore. And what I did when I was gluing it down was I was using that as a chance to make things a little bit tidier and make it all fit a bit better. And I moved the E over a little bit, which I think gave a little bit more room for the M and sort of makes it a little bit clearer that it's my name. But the thing I like about making an artwork like this is that it's kind of like a little bit of a secret that it's my name. So most people might not even realize that that's what it's meant to say. So I like it because it's an interesting artwork, but then on top of that, it's kind of got this like interesting little secret that it's also my name. And I just really liked this bit of paper there. So I'm going to add that there because I liked it. All right. All right, I hope your name has turned out as well as mine has. I'm really happy with how it's come together and I like that I was able to use lots of different organic and geometric shapes to make it and also just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Um, I liked my homemade uh, coloured paper a lot too. I think that was a really good solution for not having coloured paper at home. So enjoy making your name using collage and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.